Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, the Pakistan dear Motaram Sadr, Jnab Imran Khan, Aude Awi Sara Ratun Ki Malhayat, Afghanistan Ta Khiraglast, Khuday Murawala. Eta Sara Atak Nen Pahaka Halat Ki Tse Tau Trih Walay, Pashidat Ki Da یو دیر مهم او ارزختمند پیام در افغانستان طول و لست ده ما از حضور صدر ازم محترم پاکستان ابراز امتنان میکنیم مستر پرایم منستر یو کمینگ هیر از اسطوریک اور کامن اوبجیکتیو از تو تیک ا لیپ اف فیت تو اوورکم دی دسترست that has haunted our relationship. We have come to a, an understanding that a shared vision regarding cooperation is not only essential for relations between Pakistan and Afghanistan, but a harbinger of regional cooperation, connectivity. Our common focus and what inspires us both is poverty eradication, empowerment of citizens of our countries, within the frameworks of our Islamic constitutions, the Islamic Republic of Pakistan, the Islamic Republic of Afghanistan. Respect for our Prophet, peace be upon him, is in the blood and mind of every Muslim, and as I brought to your attention, over a thousand years review of literature uh, in our history shows nothing but respect. There is not a single joke that you can find because the Prophet's life and his tradition, his sirah, embodies the perfect Muslim's behavior and as a guide to all of us, I'd like to thank you and assure you of our cooperation in making sure that our Occidental counterparts understand that positive freedom and negative freedom need to be differentiated. Negative freedom is a freedom the exercise of which hurts other people. And the place of, the, of our prophet uh, in our Islamic belief, culture, and, uh, and civilization is such that respect for the prophet is respect for the entire Muslim world. Mr. Prime Minister, you come with a, with a series of very important messages that you yourself will articulate, but fundamental to this is that violence is not an answer. A comprehensive political settlement for an enduring peace within the, the framework of our values, our constitution, and the Islamic Republic is the way to the future. Within this, we can move forward and a comprehensive, at the request of the Afghan people, is for a comprehensive ceasefire as soon as that would be feasible, all of us need to understand that resort to violence, the region is shown, and you're convinced from your personal experience, is not an answer. Embracing a constructive politics, a politics of engagement, an inclusive politics, is the way to the future. Practically, we've agreed to form committees to deal with key topics to make sure that the foundation for trust that has been established with your trip today becomes an enduring process. And I would also like to inform the media that it would, within a short period, I would be honored to accept your invitation to visit the Islamic Republic of Pakistan. Thank you for coming, and thanks to all your colleagues uh, for their very productive and constructive engagement. Mr. Prime Minister. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Iyya ka nabudu wa iyya ka nastaini. President Ghani, first of all, thank you for your invitation to visit Kabul. Uh, I had been planning for at least 50 years to visit uh, Afghanistan and Kabul, uh, but I, it never happened, so I'm 
I'm pleased that uh, you invited me and I had an opportunity to visit this historic city. Uh, I know all about the history of Afghanistan and I noticed that you know a lot about the history of uh, Pakistan and what is India. So uh, we are both students of history and therefore Kabul is one of those cities which are of immense interest to us uh, and Afghanistan. Until uh, in, the, in the 60s and 70s, the, fa the favorite place for Pakistanis to visit was Kabul. And a lot of people um, uh, from Afghanistan used to be uh, visiting. Peshawar was a place to, for them to visit. So we have historical links. Uh, we have connections. We have uh, relations uh, between the two countries. So my, I, the whole idea of coming at a time when violence is increasing in, in Afghanistan uh, is to assure you, uh, Mr. President, that we, the people of Pakistan, the government of Pakistan, have only one concern, and that concern is what you're feeling in Afghanistan, that we want peace. Uh, we feel that people of Afghanistan have suffered for four decades, and it, the, if ever a human community needed peace, it's, it's Afghanistan, and it is now. Uh, Pakistan played its role in um, getting the, first the Taliban to talk to uh, the Americans, and then the intra-Afghan dialogue. And we uh, noticed with concern that the level of violence, despite the talks in, in um, Qatar, despite the talks, the level of violence is rising. So uh, my idea of uh, choosing this time to come was to assure you that we will, Pakistan will do everything, whatever is possible, we will do to help uh, reduce this violence and in fact move towards a ceasefire. Um, we have formed committees, as you've said. The idea of committees is to ensure that there's communication between us, between our security agencies, uh, whenever you feel that there's somewhere Pakistan can help in reducing the violence, please let us know. Um, we, we assure you that whatever possible, whatever uh, possible within our grasp, within our reach, whatever we can do, we assure you that we will be, uh, we will be doing our utmost to uh, reduce this level of violence. Uh, Pakistan is the country after Afghanistan, which is most interested in, in, in peace in Afghanistan. And the reason is the tribal areas of Pakistan, what was the ex fata which has now got merged into uh, Pakhtunkhwa, uh, the, the ex fata region, the tribal areas, were devastated by the war on terror. Half of the population was internally displaced. Their livelihood was badly affected. Uh, billions and billions in, uh, of rupees of damage was done there. And so the best way we can um, help those people, and, uh, and people on both sides of the border, is if there is peace and there's trade, there's connectivity. So we, uh, uh, um, uh, Commerce Minister, had very fruitful talks uh, in the past three days. Uh, we hope that uh, uh, this trade and connectivity will increase between the two countries. Uh, and for that, it is imperative that the level of violence goes down. So I repeat again, uh, Mr. President, that the whole objective of this visit is to build trust, uh, to, to uh, communicate more, to assure you that whatever, wherever you need our help, we will be more, you, more than your expectations, we, we will be, inshallah, helping you. Thank you so much. Thank you.